everybody, Caleb here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today I've got this DiGiorgio, that's what I'm going with, classical guitar. And we don't really work on classical guitars, but I'm going to try to do my best with this one. You can see the bridges come off. Right now the strings are still attached. The first thing I'm going to do is get the strings off of here and we're going to take a look at putting the bridge back on. It's in the wind, it's in the wind That you're leaving me again There's no disguise, it's in your eyes You can't fool me this time Before you up and leave me There's something So I'm going to treat this like the same song and dance we've done a bunch of times. I've got a call on the inside. It's just taped with some blue painter's tape to the top. Uh, I'm going to get some glue on this side, I've cleaned this up a little bit so there's no glue on here. It's wood, and I've cleaned this side up as well. I got glue on both sides. I'll make sure to work some in underneath the chips just to make sure that there's glue in any place that there might be a chip loose. And I've got some clamps sitting over here ready to go on. So, here we go. Just sit right down beside me Just once before you go Remember when we first met We had a love so fine We vowed we love each other Until the end of time It's in the wind, it's in the wind That you're leaving me again There's no disguise, it's in your I can't fit any more clamps on here, so this is what it's going to be. And because it's not as flat as it usually are, I can't really use this because it wasn't sitting flat. So this is what I'm working with, and it's clamped down really tight. So, and I got squeezed out all the way around, even in, in the gap, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's late in the day, so I think this will probably sit up until at least tomorrow. And then we can take the clamps off. So this sat up overnight, and now the bridge is glued very well to the top. I'm going to turn my attention to the frets. They're really grimy, so I'm going to do a really light leveling, crowning, and then polish them, and that'll get them cleaned up real well. Um, I'll show a little bit of it, but I've shown it so much, I probably won't show all of it. You can't pull me this time. I am finishing up with this fill on this classical guitar. I sanded this and then I scraped it too hoping that it would come up to be the same color but it sure didn't and that's one of the things you get into with these laminate tops is the inside of the wood usually doesn't match the top of the wood. But I did go ahead and fill it with some finish. That way it'll look a little bit better. Now I'm wet sanding it, and as soon as I'm done with this, which I'm just about done, I'm going to go ahead and get the semi-chrome out and start polishing this thing. Which I will do now, because I think it's looking pretty good. It just needs a good, good polish. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Well, I got the whole top done with the semi-chrome polish. And now I'm coming through with the Renaissance wax and it's really just putting that final touch on there that's making it look finished. Really, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it looked brand new, but it does look very well taken care of. Nice and shiny. So I'm just putting a little bit of the wax on, not a whole lot of area. And then taking my clean towel and rubbing it off. 
So I got this whole thing polished up now. Uh, I think you can probably see, nice and reflective. I also gave the raw wood one more wipe down with some linseed oil. I've got some strings for this, the classical guitar strings, but I've not actually strung a classical guitar, so I'm going to take this over to Jerry and he's going to show me how to do at least one of them. And then we can go from there. But yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of help on this one. Well, as you can see, there's two strings on here so far. Jerry did the low E and I did the A just to make sure I could do it. Now I'm going to show you the D and then I'll do the rest of them off of camera. So the way I'm doing this, and I'm not going to claim to be an authority on how to do this, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm running it through giving it a little extra back around on the back side, the saddle side so I'm like this and I'm bringing it around and under so it's going under the loop and I do that twice and I can pull the string that way the hoop end, the extra bit, ends up kind of at a downward angle, not at an up. Whereas if I had gone, or just gone under, it would be pointing up and you'd hit the end. But this way, it's down towards the top. I don't know if I explained that very well. Probably not, but that's okay. So that's the bridge end. On the headstock end, it's a lot like doing a fiddle. I go ahead and I put the string through the hole. I'm going to pull it so I have some pulling through, but I want to leave enough for me to get like my whole hand through, or at least four fingers through at the nut, so I have some extra to work with. Then I'll start winding. The first winding goes on the inside of the headstock. I'll go all the way around. And once I've made it all the way around, I will move the winding to the outside of the headstock and that'll pull the string in tight. You can see there, there's string on both sides of the end so that won't allow it to slip. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them off camera. This is kind of a timely procedure, and once again, I'm not an expert on this, so I'll take my time to make sure I get it as good as I can. Now, because these are classical strings, and they're nylon, they're going to spin the next 40 or 50 years stretching. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some tension on them, and then just let it sit for a little while. to get it tuned all the way up and then try to play it, it's going to go out of tune really quick. And now's probably a good time to mention it as well. When this came in, it had steel strings on it, which you really can't do on these classical guitars. That's probably one of the reasons that the bridge had come off of it. They're not really braced for the steel strings, and the bridge isn't meant to hold the steel strings, the tension from them. It's meant to hold these nylon strings. That's what you got to put on them. Well, this is sat overnight. Uh, and the strings have definitely stretched. I tuned it up one more time yesterday afternoon and was kind of playing around with it and then, you know, sat there and made sure all the strings were stretched. And I tuned it up again this morning and it's seem seeming to hold pretty well. Sounds pretty good. I don't have a lot of basis of comparison for classical guitars though. I think 
think we did a pretty good job on this. We got the bridge back attached. That was the biggest thing. Um, you know, there's still this crack here, but I do think it looks better the way it is, filled with finish. Um, you know, we did a really light fret job to make sure everything was nice and smooth and good looking. And frets are all crowned and level. Um, and it definitely needed cleaned up. If you remember, it was really dusty and kind of dirty when it came in. It's not at all anymore. It's looking really good. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little bit of work on this classical guitar. Um, I'm not sure if I've talked about it a whole lot. The brand name is De Giorgio. That's what I'm going to go with. But the name is also on the back of the headstock. So yeah, it's a pretty nice little classical guitar. and I hope the customer's real happy with it. I hope you enjoyed watching this little bit of work. If you did, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're trying to get to 100,000. Thanks for watching.